Hello. I gotta talk faster, man. I'm taking too long with these videos. <laughs> um, I just recorded a video and I talked for way too long and it went over 15 minutes and uh, like I said, I can't fucking upload shit that's over 15 minutes, so excuse the um, fucking half-hanging on tapestry. I gotta get more thumbtacks <laughs> that uh, actually work. So yeah. I have six records to talk about um, from varied genres. Um, yeah. I don't have any new pickups or anything. I've been trying to not like spend that much money, which is hard when I also want to increase my record collection, but it is what it is. Figure it out. Um, don't know what I'm going to title this video. It's kind of just a random fucking mishmash of records. Um, but yeah, I'm going to talk about them. <clears throat> First record I have is old as hell. <laughs> this is um, Black Sabbath Paranoid. Uh, paved the way for metal. Um, one of the first heavy metal records that I've ever heard. Uh, if this is right, this shit came out in 1970, dude. 1970. <laughs> My parents were like 10 years old. Um, I didn't buy this. This actually came from my sister. She's uh, She moved recently and she um, was clearing out a lot of her shit. So I got this and um, some country records and stuff. And then I got this fucking thing. Good, the Bad, the Ugly soundtrack. That shit is going to go crazy. But yeah, Black Sabbath, Paranoid. I don't really have much to say about this, man. Um, one of the best metal records ever. I still love the track Paranoid, the title track. It's just classic um, metal anthem. Planet Caravan, of course. War Pigs, Iron Man. Just such classics on this shit. Um, yeah. This shit has been chewed by dogs and fucking, I don't know where this fucking, <laughs> where else this record has been, but it's in my collection now, so that's what matters. Uh, next, I have Elliot Smith. Um, probably my favorite singer ever, my favorite songwriter, um, sad indie, druggy ballads that are just incredibly emotional and incredibly complex and just so good. Um, this is a self-titled album from 95, I think. Uh, I didn't buy this record either. A friend got me this, and this kind of got me into like record collecting. Um, this was the first record I had. Um... Yeah, man. Elliot Smith is, uh, to me, one of the um, one of the great geniuses in music. Period. But more specifically, you know, indie pop slash like whatever you want to call it, alt rock sort of stuff that he was doing later in his career, but. I wish he was still alive. I wish I could fucking see this guy live, but unfortunately, he is no longer here, but his music is, and I could listen to this shit forever. <laughs> That's how much I love his music. Um, Needle in the Hay, Christian Brothers, fucking Coming Up Roses is incredible. Alphabet Town is incredible. St. Night's Heaven. Good to go is very underrated, and then the closing track, The Biggest Lie. Um, just from another world, man. Just <laughs> this is music from another world. I don't know how somebody could make this, especially in the time that he did. Just amazing. Um, We'll talk about this record next. This is Midwife with their album Luminol. Lu 
Luminal, however you pronounce it. I love this cover. This came out in 2021. Um, this is, uh, I guess, like depressing, like alt indie alt rock, I guess. Um, I don't really know. It's just really good music to me. <laughs> that's what I, uh, that's the genre that I pick for it. Um, I don't know the woman's name that's in this band. I actually, I don't know if this is a one person band or it's like two or three people, but I know there's a, uh, a woman in it. Um, and she has her side project, uh, Sister Grotto, which I'm a huge fan of. That's how I found this. Um, but this was just like a random find on Spotify and I fucking fell in love with it. Incredible music. Um, depressing. Um, very stark and melancholic. And um, I believe a lot of this has to do with... Um, it, it's not like... <laughs> I know there's a lot of albums that people label as sort of like quarantine albums, like albums that were written when the world was on fucking lockdown. Um, but it, t to be honest, it just sounds like that time for me. <laughs> um, one of the tracks is called 2020. Um, the first track is called God is a Cop, which is such a fucking sick name. Um... But yeah, from uh, San Francisco, California, comes on this nice blue vinyl. And just uh, a brilliant, brilliant piece of work. Um, Madeline Johnston, that's her name. Uh, so I guess it's a one person band and then she's got some additional instrumentation and engineering from a couple people um but yeah it just comes with this little printout that i'm guessing she typed up um just fantastic music bro <clears throat> sounds like a movie soundtrack about like depressed young adults to be honest <laughs> that's what this shit reminds me of um, I could see a lot of these songs being in, um, a lot of different movies. <clears throat> so that's Midwife. Uh, next I have a very criminally underrated album and band. This is Axis of Light. Um... I believe from Britain, I'm not too sure. Uh, I don't think it comes with, oh yeah, it does come with this little, um, <clears throat> this little lyric sheet, but there's no uh, location or anything. Um, it says, I don't know if you can read it, but originally released by Pristine Blight in 2020, so wherever that uh, record label is from. Recorded over the span of like three years. These are all the lyrics. Um, this is just incredible raw black metal. Um, I discovered this record and I was fucking blown away. I had never heard raw black metal that sounded so inspirational. Um, it's very hard to get into. It's very harsh on the ears. But, man, this shit is just so good. Um, comes on this white vinyl. Um, these guys have put out, I think, only like a handful of projects. And they're, like I said, criminally underrated. I mean, I see barely anything about this band online. I'm not even sure if they're still a thing. But, yeah. Inspirational, motivational, just epic um, black metal that sounds like it was just recorded in a fucking dingy fucking basement um, and it's
it's just a fucking amazing work of art. Um, yeah, Axis of Light. That is the fourth record. I have another black metal record to talk about. Not really an underrated band. These guys have got some good buzz in the black metal scene. Um, Spectral Wound, their album Infernal Decadence. Saw these guys in May of this year in um, Cambridge, Mass, and they were they absolutely killed. Um, they played with uh, Prayer Position, Necrolant, and uh, One Master, which all those bands were pretty good too. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, Spectral Wound, fantastic Canadian black metal. Uh, nothing like too groundbreaking. Uh, came out on Profound Lore Records. I think this is from 2018, if I'm not mistaken. But pretty much everything I love about black metal is in this. It's got piercing, just shrieking, howling vocals, amazing riffs. Um... I've heard some people like sort of shitting on this record and saying it's kind of boring, um, which I don't really understand. I just love this music. It's so just, it's just perfect black metal to me, really. Um, like I said, it's not groundbreaking. You know, it's kind of straightforward, but um, I love it. The first track, uh, Woods from Which the Spirits Once So Loudly Howled, that's a incredible name um, the intro to the to that track and to this album I was just astonished by great musicianship um, and yeah just an epic epic introduction and it just that energy continues throughout the whole album and it's a great piece um, I'm not sure which of their albums I actually prefer they only have two releases Infernal Decadence, and then um, uh, Diabolic Thirst, I think it's called. The one with Frigid and Spellbound on it. Um, but yeah, they're both great to me. And then the last record I have, <clears throat> completely opposite direction. This is Tim Hecker with his album Anoyo. Um, 2019, I think. Definitely not my favorite Hecker release. This is great. Uh, all his music is just fucking genius, but, um, I do like his earlier, like, early 2000s stuff a lot more. Um, Tim Hecker is one of the greats. He's one of my favorites. Experimental, ambient... Um, just music from another world, man. I saw this guy in May, uh, also, um, in Somerville, Mass, and a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Um, for anybody who doesn't know who this is, this is, for me, one of the, one of the best living musicians today. Um, from Canada, just creates these incredible experimental soundscapes that are just like I said just from another world um, his album Rave Death that came out in um, 2008 is probably my favorite album ever made I can't tell you how many times I've listened to that um, but this is fantastic too he came out with um, No Highs earlier this year which he was performing some of that uh, at that show which is it was great I gotta get that on vinyl but yeah, this is Anoyo. I believe this is the album he recorded last, uh, before No Highs. Um, but yeah. Tim Hecker, to close it out. And yeah, those are the records that I am talking about today. Hopefully I can get some pickups soon and make a video with some new records to talk about. I only have like four left that I haven't talked about in my collection, so.